We begin tonight with a situation that continues to develop in Martin County after a building in the heart of Everett's partially collapsed. Officials fear another building just a few miles away will do the same. WNCT's Josh Birch joins us now with the latest. Josh. Well, Ken, officials are still concerned about safety around the Everett's building, but just up the road in Williamston, there's fear another building could collapse as well. Both buildings carrying a lot of history and well over 100 years old. What a difference 24 hours can make, where one stood debris from a partial collapse, now pretty clear. They're trying to work as quickly as possible, but they're trying to maintain the aspect of, of, of safety. Today, the owners of the building began removing what was left from inside. That Officials are still determining that whether the back portion, down. where the owner still works on cars, could be salvaged. That area uh, last night was deemed safe enough at the time to go for to allow the property owner to remove his belongings. Efforts were also underway to better secure the building with fences and no trespassing signs put up. CSX train officials were on hand this afternoon to look at the railroad track beside the structure and determined trains would continue to pass through, but only going 10 miles per hour to avoid further damage. That will help some, but there's still the vibration I issue. Up the road in Williamston sits this building, the old Mitchell's Photography Shop on Main Street, now visibly bowing out and in danger of collapse. We noticed this a couple years ago and we saw some grant funds and we were able to secure some grant funds recently. Brent Knipe with the town says the contractor began work a few years back but didn't do enough to secure the building. But as the town waits for grant money, the building has gotten closer and closer to collapsing. We noticed uh, what we felt like it looked like some additional movement in it in the last uh, several weeks and that's why we barricaded it. They're hoping the $335,000 urban development grant from the state will save the building, which is on the National Historic Registry. Knipe tells me they hope to have that grant money within the next month and have the work finished by the end of the year. He believes even if the building does collapse, those barriers you just saw will keep anyone from getting hurt. Josh Birch, 9 on your side.